to Great Day Live. I am not Claudia Coffey. I'm Haley Minogue. We are here today honoring teachers who were presented with the 2022 Excel Awards. So joining me now, we have Heather Levinson. I just tried to throw your two names together, right? From the Phoenix School of Discovery. Heather, a lot of people in the city know about Phoenix, but a lot of people don't. So what makes it different as far as schools go? Uh, first off, we keep the same kids from 6th through 12th grade, mm -hmm. so we get to know them really well, uh, which makes kids a lot more comfortable and they feel very safe with us. Mm -hmm. um, and we serve kids who really don't fit in other schools. Mm -hmm. So it's a safe place for kids who maybe weren't as successful in other kinds of schools. Mm -hmm. I love that you mentioned when we were presenting this award mm -hmm. initially that kids, you don't use their, you know, whatever their learning differences may be is bargaining chips. You meet the kids where they are. You help them learn in special ways. I think that makes you so unique as a teacher, especially in this environment. Talk about some of the challenges you had coming out of the pandemic and getting back in the school building. Yeah. I serve a group of kids who are autistic. And one of the things that's wonderful is that I keep them for three years and work intensively with both them and their families. So coming out of the pandemic, helping them reintegrate into a larger group after they've gotten really comfortable being at home by themselves, and now trying to enrich the way they're learning and interacting with other people has been a really big goal for the last few years. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, we appreciate you. We love all of the work that you do in the classroom, but. If you know Heather and you know her classroom, you know that there are some special helpers that are in there. I loved when we hopped on the Zoom to do the presentation and you had animals in your classroom. Yeah. Talk about how that changes the environment and helps create a more comfortable space for your students. I can't imagine having a classroom without animals. <laughs> um, it completely changes the environment. Um, kids are welcome to come into my room to just hang out with the dog, hold a bunny, <laughs> and it it's a great way to relieve anxiety, but it also really helps us connect and laugh together. Um, so it feels very much like a home as well as a classroom. And we were talking about it a little bit before we just came back from the break, but the animals have kind of had a rough summer. They're ready to get back in the classroom. Yes, Buster has been wreaking havoc at home. He does not want a summer vacation. Um, he's an eight-year-old lab who just vibrates with joy when it's time to go to work. Mm -hmm. And same with the bunny. The bunny. The bunny has eaten our internet cord, um, but he, he really does love going between laps of the kids he'll mm -hmm. sometimes hang out in a desk mm -hmm. um, but it's been great for the kids yeah. now when we presented the Excel award mm -hmm. to Heather she said that she wanted to use some of that award money that came with it from LG and NKU uh, you said you wanted to get kids out of the classroom talk a little bit about the plans that you've made for this upcoming school year in that way so we are planning to go out of the classroom enjoy being in a kayaking trip is our first trip. Um, it'll be partially community building, but also an experience that probably kids haven't had in the last couple of years during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a reptile rescue coming to us to meet a different sort of animal. Mm -hmm. We'll go back to Second Chances Wildlife Center uh, where they work with rescued mammals primarily. And we're also planning a behind the scenes tour at the Palace Theater. Uh, so that my kids who love technology can see how the magic is made in those performance venues. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll have as many trips as we possibly can um, so that we can make up for some lost time for my kids. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. Again, big congratulations. We are so appreciative of all of the teachers, those that could be here with us today, and then also the ones that just couldn't make it here today. So we want to go ahead and recognize Abby Lee from LaRue County on her Excel Award win. Abby Lee is an 8th grade social studies teacher at LaRue County Middle School. A passionate teacher, Lee gets her inspiration on how to conduct her classroom from her mother, who's also a teacher. Miss Lee focuses on practical teaching, holding mock elections, and even having her students brainstorm their own mock legislation. Well, we see a lot of things in the media about how elections work, you know, how, how our government works. It seems like now more than any other time, I've seen young people take an interest in how the world is governed around them because we see so much in the media about that. And Abby does a fantastic job of not only explaining that, but kids do mock elections, 
you know, she brings that into the classroom. In those brainstorm bills, students completed legislation about mental health in schools, creating proof their work can make changes in the world. With inquiry-based social studies education, they have to be able to think. Um, it's, and it's really awesome to be able to challenge and say, what is a problem that you think is in Kentucky and how would you solve that? As a teacher with her hands in many pots, Miss Lee says she'll be taking some time to figure out how she wants to spend that $1,000 check. It's exciting to be able to give it, be given $1,000 and say, you know, spend it how you want to. And so I'm excited to see where I go with that. On behalf of WHS 11 and El Genie and KU, congratulations to LaRue County Middle School's Abby Lee on your Excel Award.